Hello friends, this video on Asset MBS part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 13. Now we will learn a little more about salt. Salts are formed by the chemical reaction between acid and base. We have learned this. Also, metal and acid. If you see, this is a salt. Metal, non metal. This is salt. Base and acid anhydride, the salt. Acid and basic anhydride, the salt. Salt can also form the solution of different salts are mixed. In that case, the ions recombine and new salt is For example, PbNO3 plus Na2SO4 gives PbSO4, the salt. See, both are salts combined to give a new salt. This is a double displacement reaction. Correct. So you see, salt can be formed using so many ways. Base acid, metal acid, metal non metal, base acid anhydride, acid base anhydride, or different salts. Family of salts, they are normal or neutral salts, they are acidic salt, and they are basic salt. They are also double salts, mixed salts, and complex salts. So they go through all this one by one. So I'll go through normal salts. The salt that doesn't combine contain any replaceable hydrogen ion. This is a normal salt. And the Cl NO2 is a more because they don't have H plus ion. They don't have. They are normal salt, they are neutral salt, right? Because they don't have H plus ion. Acidic salt, they have H plus ions, extra H plus ions, they're replaceable. So they are acidic. Example, NaCO3. NaH2PO4, they are acidic salt. Basic salt, they have higher proportion of uh, when you have acid and base, you take more and more and more base. For example, only 2 ml of base was required for this reaction, you take 10 ml of base. So 8 ml is extra, right? So in that case, what you get is a basic salt. For example, in this case, you get CuCO3 plus dot CuCOH2. So whatever you have got that reacts with again a base to get this. So in this case, you get a basic salt and this is generally formed when you have a reaction place in base and you put large number of base that is required. Then you get a salt that is called basis. Correct. Then you have double salt. Double salts are formed by association between say, two simple salts. For example, potassium alum. Okay. That is, I think K two SO four Al two K. I don't know the formula of this alum. Uh, it has a big formula Al two SO four three dot something dot S two something is there. So in this case, two simple salts form to create a bigger salt. That is called double salt, right? Double salt is called that kind of salt. We have two salt, simple salt, salt one plus salt two. Gives salt three, right? So where it's a combination of uh, two salts, so it's called double salt. Potassium alum is a example of this. Mixed salt, salt that contain more than one acid radical or basic radical or one mixed salt. Bleaching powder is one example. So they have more than one acid or basic things. So they are called mixed salt. And complex salt are salt which dissociate in water to give one simple ion and one complex ion. So you'll get one simple ion and one complex ion and that is called complex salt. Correct? So we have different types of salt. Uh, based on acidity and basicity, we have acid, basic, and neutral salt. And then based on the uh, formation and uh, the compounds, we have double salt, mixed salt, and complex salt. Salt can be acidic, basic, or neutral. So we have acidic salt, we have basic salt, we have so as I explained in the last slide also, we have acidic, basic and neutral salt, right? Salt of a strong acid and strong base are neutral. So if you have strong acid and a strong base, you get a neutral salt. Strong acid but weak base, right? That will give you acidic salt, right? Because the acid was strong. Strong base, weak acid will give you a basic salt, obviously. So if both are strong, equally strong, strong acid, strong base will give you neutral salt. If the acid was strong in the reaction between 
acid and base right you get salt so if the acid was strong you get acidic salt if the base was strong you get base salt both are equally strong you get it thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again